doing okay, I want to stick around today and see some, but I have to get the actors for tomorrow. Yeah. This short was proposed to me by the screenwriter Sarah Beckett. As soon as I read the first draft, I fell in love with the story. This woman who apparently has amnesia and is found in an alleyway in the streets. They told me I appeared out of nowhere, lying dead in a cul-de-sac. Not a thing to mark me, not even a piece of jewelry, a tattoo. You all right, lady? Can you tell me your name or what happened? First read, I really liked the script. It was the voiceover, and I found it a bit haunting. To lose everything is to gain something. And that's all I really wanted. And that's all I really wanted. Something. Something. Uh, it's very haunting. It's very, uh, it's, it's, it's the kind of thing where you read through and you want to know, you want to know, you want to know, you want to know. So it feeds more or less our characters. And that's great. Anything coming back? Hmm. I like the script very much because when I read it, uh, I was wondering where it was going, you know, it just, uh, it starts in a funny way, but I love those kind of script that uh, goes uh, funny and then you discover at the end what it is, so I was happy to accept to do it, you know. I read the script and it's, it seems interesting, it's not that I've never done anything like this particular part before. Uh, it's nice to play somebody who's older and you're shooting a younger guy, so it was fun. You want me to call it? This is going to be the frame. Action. I'm sorry. Yeah. Once she goes down, just go back with the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's try another one. There's this thing about shooting a short film that's not like a feature, which is basically we're there to have fun and, and really explore. And uh, there's no thing about the selling it and making money and it's got to be this, it's got to be that. It's just pure acting and pure fun. And, it, and it's sort of a camaraderie between people and friends. You know, it's sort of like a, a buddy movie. And I want to see pain, and again, I'm going to try to get that tear, pain, but relief at the same time. Stand by. He was so pale and thin, he was sure I was a ghost. Well, we're doing a very trashy makeup. Basically, we're doing a scene where she is very depressed, so I yellowed around her eyes. And then I'm doing an eyeliner that's really smudged and like very old, and she's gonna squint a lot to make it move and yeah, go into the creases. <laughs> Yeah, this was well. Just as I think Patricia probably already went over, she wanted all, most of the characters kind of be timeless because there's a lot of themes of memory and losing your past and gaining a future and all that kind of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what looks good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think that'll be good. Yeah. I think they have to, to match them, you know. Yeah. To, it's actually a, a really hard thing to do to try to find costumes that both are relatable to the present day, but also could work in, in any sort of time period. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good, like with the, the collar. I guess we're just, some of the clothing is more vintage stuff, because I guess vintage kind of carries over through different mm -hmm. years. People are always buying vintage, vintage is always, always coming back. There's a lot of kind of 70s sort of styles, but they are, because it is is an era of and color those sort of colors keep reoccurring kind of every decade it almost seemed timeless in that way so I think it'll be a really interesting mix of both like vintage pieces that keep recurring and very kind of 
timeless sort of colors and shapes. So. Flashcards will do the, the ink and we will do the point of view through the magnifying glass to show that there's no print. Okay, yeah, because we don't have it. Oh well. It's very good. And we saw you we saw your shadow leaving. That was great. I like the way Patricia was very um not picky, but she uh, she has a lot of attention to details. She pays a lot of attention to details, so which is nice because a lot some of the stuff we don't see and we don't until we do it. To pick out the missing one and exactly. Yes. Okay. Fine. So sure. Let's try that. Fine. When did you, oh, sorry. Anything coming back? You don't remember anything. I remember I was happy before. Okay. <laughs> I like very subtle acting in, in a way that we're going to go close up on you. I want to stay like focused on your mind more than on them. guys and mean and everything because there's no I mean somebody at the end of the day will say cut so <laughs> <laughs> there's no consequence it's nice to, to to bite into something and to you know and the contrast between me and Jacques who I was very pleasantly surprised and when I saw that I would work with him um, great actor so he obviously you know like he has such a presence action who's been uh, without his wife for some period of time, we're not really sure how long, and uh, his wife went missing, and he's sitting alone, depressed, as he has been for however many years, and he's down at the paper, and he sees a picture of what he thinks is his wife, and he gets pretty excited about it. It's been a great experience working with Richard Robitaille and Jacques Godbe, along with Michel Bobak, so we got everything we wanted and even more, so that's a good sign. Yeah. See you at the premiere.